telling him, I need this, I, I want my $9,000 back. A couple of weeks ago, we told you how Mary DeCampo's dream of an in-ground pool turned to disaster. Back in March, she gave $27,000 to Andreas Cristadolo, owner of King's Pools in Lake Kopatkong, New Jersey. He promised she'd be swimming in May, but by July, he was drowning in excuses. Andreas did come after numerous phone calls, looked at the pool, said, oh, Mary, Mary, this has been the hardest project. You can't trust him. He's saying all kinds of excuses. After Mary's story came out, we heard from Eva Bocor, who had a similar tale about Cristadolo. A contract in April, $22,000 in advance. Materials never delivered, calls never returned. We cannot reach him. We can't leave any messages because his voicemail is full. We sent emails, letters. In more than three months after getting Eva's money, Cristadolo had come back only twice. Once on May 9th. Where is he now? It's the red, the red shirt one. And again on July 20th, when as it happened, we also showed up with our camera. Andreas, hi, I'm Christine Young with The Record. Why are you here? I'm here because Ms. Bocor asked me to come over. Yeah. You don't want to talk? This lady says you promised her a pool by Memorial Day, just like Mary. What'd you do with the money you took from these people? You gonna run away? Cristadolo had no answers. He also had no escape, so he went after our fleet-footed photographer. Hey, leave me alone. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to do anything for you, mate. <laughs> Back inside the house, Cristadolo got even angrier and screamed at me to leave. Get up! Then he made more promises to Eva, this time in writing. It says pool will be done by the first, first week, week of, of August. August. Do That's you believe him? No. She filed a complaint with the Attorney General's office and got a response offering mediation. The enforcement is in place. I caught up with Attorney General Elliot Spitzer, who's running for governor, to ask if mediation is enough. The case that you are referring to, in fact, we have an open investigation and we are pursuing this. Spitzer said his office sometimes forces contractors to pay their customers back. With Cristadolo, however, the chances of that are slim. New Jersey court records show he has more than $128,000 in outstanding judgments. He has pending lawsuits totaling almost $39,000. But this is nothing new for Cristadolo, who accumulated almost $80,000 worth of judgments during the 1990s when he was doing business as Majestic Pools. In 1997, he went bankrupt, then started over again under the name Andreas Pools. But again, the judgments started piling up, and again, he tried to file for bankruptcy. But that petition was denied last August, and now he's known as King's Pools. I asked Spitzer if New York's contractor laws are adequate and if their enforcement is tough enough. Where there is simply somebody who makes a mistake, you don't throw them in jail. Where there is intentional misleading and fraud, then they lose their license. Lose their license? I reminded Spitzer that in Orange County, there is no such thing as a contractor license. No, 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 but, but in, in many contexts there is. When they are licensed, when they've misled, those are the contexts where we, we do revoke licenses. We do it all the time in the context of construction, the context of, of, of contracting. We have managed to do that, and that is what we do. But when it comes to this contractor, that won't do a thing. Christine Young, Record Online.